I'm one of the dedicated client success advisors here at CDW. I'm joined here with uh, Bailey Holacek, as well as Abby Madden. Both of my colleagues here are part of the CSA team. Um, Abby, since you're controlling the slide deck, can you um, just go back to the agenda page? Yeah, absolutely. All right, so for today's agenda, we are going to be exploring the new self-help feature that we rolled out for the Inscape platform. I'll be covering that topic, and Abby will be covering the Microsoft 365 Management Favorite Features services in there. Um, so there's a couple of items she'll be covering um, for that. And if you have any questions, please um, put those in the chat. Uh, next slide, Abby. Okay, so many of you may have noticed that we have launched a new self-help feature within the Inscape platform. Um, this will give you a walkthrough of tutorials that are available for Inscape dashboard, license, Microsoft license assignment, and account info. Now coming next month, we will have tutorials for our cloud management services, including Anomaly, and coming soon, we'll have tutorials on all of the modules. So just wanted to make sure aware of that. Um, the other modules in, uh, that are coming soon will be for Team Captain and for 365 Productivity Insights. Um, Abby, I will uh, share the screen, my screen here and take over. And can everybody see my screen, Abby and team? Can you see my screen here? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, so we recently launched a new ish, a new uh, feature in the Inscape platform called Self Help. Um, this is all to help with the engagement and the adoption of the Inscape platform. Um, so this is for our users, our user community um, for help. Um, so if you click on Self Help here, you can come in here and watch tutorials in a very linear fashion on uh, for first time users, for licenses, license management, account info, and other. Um, if there's something here that you're wanting to search for, there is a search functionality in here. So if you want to search for, you know, budget, if you type in the word budget, uh, this will pull up the um, topics or anything that's in here, uh, walkthrough wise around budget. Um, you may have noticed for the first time users, if you click the carrots, um, these topics are generally a little bit longer in overview as this again is for our first time users walking you through things like license and billing management, an overview of the licensing uh, module, as well as the Inkscape navigation. Um, for today's purposes, uh, we'll take a look at license management. And for example, if you want to see about assign and export uh, licenses here, you can see you click on this and this will walk you through. If you click on here, this is step one of four of the license assignment tile. So this will walk you through step by step. So step two um, will manage multiple users. Then you would click and it will take you through all of the steps of managing or assigning your licenses. Um, Abby and team, are there any questions coming in so far about how the self-help feature can uh, work and how it could be best utilized to help answering, um, you know, administrative or user um, functions in Inkscape? Melissa, I do not see anything in the chat so far. Okay, so um, if if you're okay with step two, you can either click the X to close this window or if you click next, this will take you to step number three, which will tell you about managing the individual licenses, et cetera. So you could click next to proceed, so on and so forth. So for each of the modules that we have in self-help thus far, there is a step-by-step -step walk through of each of the modules. So again, you can come back here, and if you you know want to learn how to uh, about billing, you can type in your you know your search functionality in here, or type in the search term in here, and then anything that has the word like billing in it that will turn up in the search. You could click on this, and this will take you to the tour of the billing and management uh, feature in Inkscape. And in this case, it's a, a YouTube video that will come up. Any uh, comments, questions, or concerns from our CSP community that has joined us today on how this can work and how this can be leveraged? Uh, 
Okay, great. Um, Abby, um, did you want to take it over from here and cover the a couple of topics within the Enscape uh, management service uh, that you wanted to highlight for our users today? Yeah, sounds good. I'm going to go ahead and share out my screen again, guys. Alrighty, so I'm going to be covering a few features in the Microsoft 365 management tool. I'm going to show you how you can add additional users and roles for this tool, as well as how to update your license costs for more accurate reporting. And lastly, we will review how to create and schedule reports. And if there is any other topic in that tool that you guys would like me to cover today, please feel free to put that in the chat and I wouldn't mind touching on that for you. Alrighty, so jumping over into the Microsoft 365 management tool, I'm gonna show you guys how you can go ahead and add your additional users to this tool. So you would navigate up to the upper right hand corner and click on the security wheel. From here, you're, you will navigate down to system users, select add a new user, and then you would just type in that user's email address. And then from here, you would go up to the left hand side and click on roles, and then you'll hit add roles. And from here, you could give this user full administrative access or you are able to pick and choose their roles for this tool. And if anyone has any questions, please feel free to drop them in the chat. Alrighty. So next I'm going to show you guys how you can go in to update your license cost in this tool. A lot of our clients like to do this just for more accurate reporting. So for this, you would navigate up to the Office 365 tab at the top. Alrighty, and then you're going to come over to this Office 365 main navigation to the left and you'll navigate to the license drop down. And then from here you will select license cost. So here this is pulling generic pricing, but if you guys have any special pricing, any discounts, you can come in here beside that license and click on the little pencil icon. And from here it allows you to update that unit price. All righty. Hey, and hey, Abby, a question uh, came up from Caleb. He said, if given admin role, is that the same as global admin or do Inscape admins have to be global admins? So that is a great question, Caleb. So let me go back here to the roles here. So I'm glad you called this out because this is actually a, oops, a pretty important thing here. Let me get the roles pulled up. Alrighty. So if you gave a user this full admin, say Melissa is not does not have permissions in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center to go in and add a license to a user or put a user on litigation hold. If you gave Melissa full access by using this admin button here, she would be able to come in this Microsoft 365 management tool and make those changes to your users. So this is going to override what's in your admin center. Now it's not going to like actually change her role in the admin center, but when she comes and uses this tool, it would allow her to come in and make those changes to your users. And I believe I saw somebody had their hand up. Feel free to speak out if you have any questions. Alrighty. So moving on to the reporting tab at the top, I'm gonna click on report listings. So these are all the different reports that we currently have in the platform that you guys are able to utilize. There's a lot here, so we do recommend using the category filter, but as you see, we have reports for Office 365 users, groups, mailboxes, mailbox size, license, mobile devices, mail traffic, teams, and activity. And then if there's a certain report that you guys are coming back to a lot, you can just hit this pink star and it would save it to your personal favorites over to the left. This just makes it a little bit more time efficient for you to come in here and find that report. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on a report. 
And so if I wanted this report right now, I could go up to this button with the cloud and click on that. And from here, you're able to export this to a CSV file and Excel. Alrighty. And so you can also have these reports set up to be emailed to you on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. So I'm going to show you guys how you can create your schedules and your report subscriptions for that. So in order to do that, you would click on the reporting tab again at the top and click on schedules. And from here, you would just select create new schedule. You would give this schedule a name. You can select the time zone for the schedule. And then here is where you're able to um, select that reoccurrence pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a monthly. Do the second week. Wednesday. And then I'll save it. And then from here, I'm going to go back up to the reporting tab again at the top and click on report subscriptions. I'll select create new subscription. And then from here in this schedule drop down, I would be able to select the schedule I just created. And then all of these little drop downs to the right of that are all the different reports broken out into their categories. So you're able to select as many of these reports as you would like to be emailed to you on this schedule. And then from here, you could put in your email address. You're able to even send this to a group email as well. Does anybody have any questions over the reporting? not seeing anything in the chat window, but if anybody has any questions, please don't be shy. Put them in the chat and we will answer them for you. Absolutely. And if anyone would like a personal Enscape refresher, if you would like anybody on your team that hasn't seen the tool to have a demo of Enscape, we're happy to provide that. So please feel free to reach out to either me, Melissa or Bailey. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for your time today. And if you need anything, please feel free to reach out to us. Bailey, before we wrap things up here, there was another feature I thought would be cool to show them, which would be the changing the cost in the Enscape 365 management for the reporting. I believe we already covered that. You covered that? Okay, just making yes. sure. I believe so. Yeah, you'll go down to the license cost and then here's where you're able to come in and change that unit price. Perfect. Um, thank you for just reiterating that. Any comments, questions? Uh, we do have a question in from Ryan. Uh, does the self-help feature replace the adoption feature? But I'm not seeing that button now. Um, I could take that back to the, our uh, expert here on that, but I believe it should. Yeah, I believe so. The adoption feature I, was removed from the platform. I believe so, yeah. I'm just going to triple check that, but uh, Ryan, I will get back to you with a conclusive answer, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure that yes, that is correct. The self-help feature does replace that. Any other questions, comments, or concerns that we can address uh, for you all today or show you anything further in the platform or Microsoft 365 management, please let us know. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much. I hope everybody has a great rest of their day. Thank you. All right. Thank you all.